Okay, hey guys, and welcome to an original Retry This production. Today I'll be teaching you how to customize your RPG style text box from my last tutorial. In my last tutorial I taught you how to make an RPG style text box like the ones in Pokemon games, but I didn't teach you how to customize them. So now I'm going to do that. So once you customize it, all you have to do, you can go to your dialog box script. On you want to, you know, you can just ignore this one. You don't have to edit it. What you can do, you can go to this one though, SCR underscore dialog box. This is the main one where our, most of our functions will take place. So this was made by Miles Lombardi. If I didn't say that before, I think I did in my last tutorial. Miles Lombardi. Pretty good script. It's a very good script. So the first thing we have here that makes a difference is if keyboard underscore check enter. So this is if the enter button is pushed, then um what will happen is it will finish the line of text. So basically if you press enter like in a Pokemon game, if the text is still scrolling and it's taking too long and you want to rush and you press the A button, I think, I think it's the A button, it'll finish the text. And you press A button, it'll go to the next box or whatever. So you can change this to space and space. But if you're going to change this one to space or something else, you have to make sure it's not the same as the ones down here. This is important also. Um, you have to make sure that it's not the same as this one right down here or this one. Yes, I've got to make sure. So, the next thing that makes a difference, and also change this one. If you're changing this, then change this also. So, the next thing that matters is this, draw sprite. What this does is it draws the text box. What I recommend doing, though, you can change it up. What I recommend doing is doing a draw, if you want to make it stretch to the width of the room, for example, you can do a draw sprite stretch. Well, this will stretch the sprite, and you can stretch it till the end of the room, so it will meet the room width. So it will be the same size, same width as the room. So you just got to change it up a little. Sub sprite first, sub image, X and Y. Um, let me change this up so it will look better. And so here's an example of a good one. I can edit this out. This I can change to plus 367. This, I add an extra comma because I have to add the width and the height. This, I can put room underscore width. So it'll stretch to the room width. And this one, I mean, for height, I can put, let's say, 111. So it can be the same height as the room. You'll probably see it. It'll appear at the bottom of the screen. Look better. But since I changed the, the, where the sprite is, I have to change the rest. So self pointy self dot pointy x and self pointy dot y these two are very important if you change the location of the text box you have to change the location of this also this controls where the text starts to appear so this is very important this controls where the text starts to appear on your screen so since I changed the location of this the location now I did this already. It will be like 330 by um, 30 by 393. This would be a perfect location for the text box. So this is the X and Y positions of where the text will start to appear when the text box starts. This will control where it starts to appear. So, yeah. Next important thing this. If self dot point x greater than or equal to 290, this here controls when um, the text starts to wrap to another line. Because in my last tutorial, we saw that um, when I said, my name is Retry This, I will be your guy today. The Y in your, in your, the Y, I mean the R in your, appeared on the next line. So this controls when the text will wrap and appear on the next line. So I can adjust this to let's say, um, let's say I can change this to let's say 340. And then 
if the text is too far over so I can get more space on the line. Um, let's see, next important thing, leave everything else, next important thing. Uh, oh, yes, this is text more. That little black thing at the bottom of the thing, the little black thing at the bottom of the text box, this little thing right here. Uh, text more. This is this sprite is the little thing that appears to show that the text box is done typing. Well, it's done. It's done with the with the current box. So if you press enter, it'll go to the next line. This is the thing that shows you that the current text box is done, and it's waiting for you to press enter to go to the next text box. So since I changed everything else, I got to change the position for this too. So. So in this one case, I want it to appear in the middle of the screen. So what I did, I did room underscore width. So view underscore x view one plus room width divided by two. This will make the sprite appear in the middle of the room. That's pretty handy. It'll make it appear in the center of the room. And so view underscore y view, I need to change that also. So that one I just changed to 465. So you can copy um, what I'm doing if you want for your own game. This will make it appear in a relatively good position for a 640 by 480 room. So if your room is 640 by 480, then it should work well for your room. This is the sound that your player, the sound that appears, the little typing sound, to show that it's still typing. You can change that if you want. And here's the last part. Um, this is the... Um, complete line, I think. I forgot which one this is. Uh, what does spacebar do? I don't know. Well, let me check. Okay, well, I just learned, well, I just remembered something new. Uh, let's see. Spacebar goes to the next, okay, goes to the next, um, thingy. Spacebar, I just remember, spacebar goes to the next, text box. So if you're done, if you're done saying um, the text, talking in one text box, you can go to a different one. Let another person talk or something. So yeah, that's basically it. So if you want to change this, this will be the button that um, changes the text box or, or enters new text, basically. So yeah. And while I'm here, uh, while I'm here, I'm going to change this because I saw how mine worked and um, it did it well, but but since I made it longer, part of it got stuck. So I'm gonna change that up to like 440, 430 maybe. And so let me show you what it looks like. Got it. Ah. Oh well, whatever. So yeah, welcome to the game, friend. Uh, the text box appears in a relatively well position. I should have made the text a little bigger, but I didn't. So it appears throughout the side of the, the thing, the side of the screen. That's pretty well. When I press enter, my name is Retrivis. I will be your guide today. It extended and made it longer. And then we have the little text more. Appears at a perfect position. Press enter again. What do you want to learn? And perfect. It appears at a relatively well position. This room is 640 by 480. So if you want to copy it. So. Yeah, well, this has been an original Retry This production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.